16 overall change in oxidation number of chlorine from ClO minus to forming ClO minus from chlorine so we have chlorine element oxidation number will be 0 and chlorine in the ClO minus oxidation number is plus 1 so the overall change is increase of 1 unit 17 trend for group 7 the elements as you go down the group become darker the elements have a higher boiling point less volatile the hydrides become less stable okay, it's easier to break the bonds for the hydrides the reactions become less vigorous that's correct it becomes less and less reactive as you go down the group Eighteen. So first of all, we have two re two experiments. The first reaction is when we have corn sulfuric acid and potassium chloride. The fumes produced will be hydrogen chloride, and that is bubbled into potassium iodide. Hydrogen chloride bubbled into potassium iodide. There will be no displacement. We are not talking about chlorine bubbled into iodide. We are talking about hydrogen chloride in, into potassium iodide. No displacement, so the solution will remain colorless. The second experiment, potassium chloride dissolved in aqueous ammonia and then added to silver nitrate. Now, silver chloride might be formed, which will be a PPT. But in the presence of aqueous ammonia, it will actually dissolve in aqueous ammonia and we will not see the PPT actually appearing at all. So again, we will end up with a colorless solution. So for both experiments, we have colorless solutions as a result. Nineteen, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide. Which one will occur in the atmosphere? Carbon monoxide will not be spontaneously oxidized. We will need a uh, burning to for it to happen. Combustion reaction. Nitrogen oxides will not be reduced spontaneously. Okay, in the atmosphere. The keyword being occurs in the atmosphere. The one that reacts or happens in the atmosphere is this reaction nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxide the nitrogen oxide will be reduced to nitrogen dioxide will be reduced to nitrogen oxides sulfur dioxide will become sulfur trioxide so C is the reaction in the atmosphere 20 fumaric acid change to oxaloacetic acid so what you should notice is there is a ketone group occurring here meaning we have to form an alcohol group which will then later be oxidized to a ketone so step one will require an alcohol group Okay, or we can actually look at step 2. Step 2 eventually requires an oxidation. So there are two possibilities. This is oxidizing agent and this one. So it's between A and B. And then we see which one fulfills our criteria. We need an alcohol group on, on one of the carbons here. Right, A doesn't have the alcohol group. But B has the alcohol group that can later become a ketone. So we actually will have to hydrate it and then oxidize it later twenty one compound J reacts with sodium and we get a minus three charge. What it means is we could have a tot we have a three groups in total that is made out of a carboxylate and a hydroxyl. How much of each we can't be sure but total is three. 
and then we, we are told that it reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce a minus one charge that means it only has one group of COOH so one group of COOH and two groups of OH that's the information we can gather so if we look at the options for two groups of OH here and one group of COOH twenty two ethyl propanoate hydrolyze your ester under alkali reflux we will get two organic products the first organic product will be your propanoid salt okay, because it's alkali conditions your second one will be your ethanol what's the mass of each product percentage so we use the MR 96 including the sodium here 46 for your ethanol so percentage for your proper no weight will be 96 out of 96 plus 46 times 100 so 67.6 percent here the other one you can calculate or you can take 100 minus 67.6 okay, so we have these two combinations compound C what materials can we use to generate compound C so concentrated sulfuric acid we can have what we can have is notice that there are two ester bonds here over here and over here so your con sulfuric acid is actually to uh, ensure that esterification takes place before esterification we actually have two separate molecules one that contains an alcohol group here and an acid group over here same for here acid group and an alcohol group so actually they are the same molecule okay, which is this molecule one end with the alcohol one end with the acid and when we esterify them they will actually form the ring twenty four how many esters can we get from this formula so it's a bit of um, drawing out all the structures we can have four possible structures of esters okay, so you can try out and see that you get all four of this okay, and don't rule out the branching of um, when we need to use the branching so not all of them will be straight chain so we have four possible esters twenty five which compound on reaction will give a chiral carbon so we have our carbon now this is an ester so this one will not need to be considered okay, we have to check a b and d which are our carbon now so adding of cn the h will be here the cn will be on the other side right and then we have our chiral carbon here so a will be answer we can check b B we have two groups that are the same so adding a H and a CN on this side will not give us a chiral carbon okay same for D we have two hydrogen so we will not get a chiral carbon here Twenty six. Which one can be oxidized by dichromate and also reacts with Tolens reagent? So I listed out the groups or the functional groups for the WXYZ, ketone and alcohol and all that. The one that will be oxidized 
and also reacts with Tolan's reagent will be our X. Okay, we have an aldehyde that can be oxidized and also reacts with Tolan's reagent. And Z, okay, we have an aldehyde group that can be oxidized and reacts with Tolan's reagent. For W, it can be oxidized but won't react with Tolan's reagent. For Y, it can be oxidized and not react with Tolan's reagent. So W and sorry X and Z only. Twenty seven. Which one will we get the fastest precipitate? The one that contains the iodine, the iodide will be the one that releases the the halides the fastest because of the weakest bond. Okay, so your AGI will form the fastest. So we will see our precipitate the quickest. Twenty-eight. This energy profile shows that there's an intermediate. Okay, so which one does not have an intermediate? For A, C, and D. We have our intermediates, which I draw out here. Okay. C is a tertiary, mm, tertiary halogen, halo, uh, hydro, halogen alkanes, so it will actually have a carbocation. ion. Okay. D. We will also have our intermediate. So A, C, and D have intermediates. B will not have an intermediate. It's a primary. Halogen, uh, halogen alkene, it will actually have a transition state. Twenty-nine. Which one will cause the most depletion of the ozone layer? You have to attribute the depletion of ozone layer to radicals like chlorine and bromine. So, the one that has the most chlorine will be the one that affects the ozone layer the most, okay, which is A. PVC. PVC, the repeat unit is drawn here. And only one chlorine here. So it produces a highly acidic gas. It can produce HCl. Okay. Your PVCs are saturated, the polymer saturated, that's true. And bigger formula C2H3Cl, same as the monomer. Repeated unit is not correct here, it's only one chlorine instead of two. So D is wrong. Okay. 